I have made some bad mistakes in my time, but that breaks, and I'll bet I've had way more fun than you. Well, hello there, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Bissoff Plays Minecraft. I am Bissoff, and this is me as I play Minecraft on single player worlds, the Minecat server, and the new Minecat realm, West Coast, or West Side Punks, not West Coast, West Side. I'll also be streaming on Twitch Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Search for Bissoff Plays. Click that link in the description below the video. If you have a moment, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And if you're up to it, give a like or dislike on the video. And if you're really adventurous, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and or Facebook. So here we are back on Minecats and uh, just doing a little, not really a day in the life, but what do I do when I'm not streaming or making videos? And what it is, is simple. I'm doing nothing really. I usually log in. Let me go to my house, because that's where I usually log in at. I'm usually logging in right inside the main part of my house. Right down here is where I usually log in. That's where I usually log out, where I log in at. So I start out waiting for the world to load, check my villagers, make sure they are not overcrowded. I don't want more, too many more than 10. Five is a lot, 10 is way too many. Let me put my helmet on while I'm at it. Then I come over here and check my cows in my auto cow thing cooker. I cleaned it out earlier because I actually made this video one time before my computer overheated, shut itself down, and I've been working on it for like the last hour and a half cleaning it so that I can remake this video. So let's refeed these little monkeys on top. Okay, so we feed the cows. More cows pop out, blah, 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 they cook. So the second thing I usually do is head over to the Ventus Arena and I check out the library because people might have donated books or donated supplies so you got to look and see what's in here wow my FPS is really doing well I think cleaning this computer really helped it was hot pouring heat outside of my laptop now I'm putting my hand where the heat the vent and it's warmer air but it's not so bad that it's cooking my hand and we got these glitchy item frames with books in them that we take out and a glitchy item frame over here with a half slab in that used to have a torch where a wall used to be and another one upstairs and then these two paintings I'm doing this all day long every time I leave the area and they come back so Yes, yes, yes. We've had mods and admins try to fix it. Couldn't get it fixed, so we just deal with it. Put some new video cameras in the place to keep people from graffitiing the walls and stealing things. So downstairs we go. And come over here and dump off all this. Come on. Come on, chest. You can do it. Let's go, boy. Come on, open. So we'll put all that in there. Uh, let's check in here, see if we got anything. And no donations, no nothing, no books, anything. So we're gonna quickly make some books. We got six in there, we need some more. So we will see what we can make out of this. Do, 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 do. There's 30 more books. Ta da paper books. Okay, let's drop that paper there. We're going to put half the books here and take half the books with me. And we'll take one more out of that because we need even fives. So we'll take 16 books with us. And then we go upstairs and sometimes we go to the chest and see if there's enough books, enough copies of each book. Because a lot of times people steal copies of the books. Or they take them with them and forget to bring them back. Which is the same as stealing, I guess. But my story, kitty me. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 
Yep, about a dozen more books, and we'll be full up. What we'll to expand again. I guess we should check. Well, if nobody's been here, then no one's really taking any food out of the little cafe. Well, let's go outside and see what this guy wants. Oh, he's already gone. Half of them. So now we'll go back over and check out the trading area. Make sure we don't have a bunch of villagers running around over there. We got one out. That's about it. Oh, forgot to pick up that torch. Pick it up now. So just the one there. So we're fine. I want to check these chests while I'm at it. I've decided rather than fill up half of them with paper and half of them with flesh, I'm going to fill up a little more than half of them with flesh and less than half of them with paper. All the ones on the ground on this line will be, excuse me, paper, which I don't need strictly that much of. Let's see, so we're going to fill these chests with flesh, these chests with flesh. And these, and then all these are full. Nope, they're not all full. Oh, we need to fill those up, don't we? And then that's about all I really do. Continues to run around, check those things over and over again. Keep feeding the cows, feeding the pigs, and everything. We're not pigs, but check these hoppers. See if there's anything in them. People throw junk in them all the time. This is the right item, it won't go through, but it can clog up the hopper. Then we'll go down here and check the chest, see if there's anything in the chest. If there's anything in the chest, that means you got to replace stuff in the dispensers. Nothing. Nothing. We're going to have to go around all the way. Nothing. Nothing. And nothing. So if nothing's in the chest, I mean, I have to fill up the dispensers for my little store here. This time, remember to close that so people can go down there. It's okay if people go down there, but I really don't want them down there. Check and see if there's any noobs caught in my fences. Every time someone comes to my area, they gotta jump on them fences and fall inside and get caught. Gotta finish this portal, do something with it. I need to clean out this area over here. Combine a bunch of armor and such. And transfer all the rotten flesh out to my chest outdoors. So down here I do a lot of different silly things that are pretty much useless. As I kill uh, mobs up here. I just stand here. A lot of times I just kill mobs there. I got six zombie spawners on this side and six skeleton spawners on this side and they just drop mobs like mad here. Everything gets funneled down these hoppers and ends up down here and these hoppers as you can see. So normally what I'm usually doing is getting these hoppers cleaned out. So let's start at the top. I always go with the zombie flesh. Anything that stacks, get that out of the way. Move down. So that's pretty much all them full. Dump all the zombie fleshes in here. I get three stacks full and then all the stackable items are on the top row here. And I fill up one of these stacks, I just take it out, but I usually just enchant books and put them in here. If they're stuff I don't need, I throw them in here. And if there's stuff I want, I combine them and get all the top enchanted books over here. So I've got a roll of sharpness 5, a roll of smite 5, a roll of bane 5, a roll of knockbacks, looting, fire aspects, same with the armor, a roll of all the stuff. I still got to get all the thorns straightened out, but I'll have the thorns eventually. Tools are the same way, efficiency, got a lot of efficiency, fortune, silk, lure, 
lock it to see, and then bow stuff. I don't worry so much about the bow stuff because I've actually got a chest full of enchanted bows I combined to make my super enchanted bows, which end up with mending on them. And then, of course, I combine all this armor and throw it in here for salvaging, or I just save it. Plus, I got a chest full of or that diamond and stuff over here and junk that I'm constantly enchanting and filling up this chest and filling up this chest and filling up this chest and this one, which I haven't done a lot of. I've been pretty lazy. Plus, I collect a lot of arrows and bones to sell. I actually have to set a bunch up to sell here pretty quick. So that's pretty much what I do if I'm not checking chests to make sure they're not full of something or feeding animals or making a video. I'm here grinding away. You can see we've already got mobs here. And also during the day, my as you see, my uh, uh, armor and tools get damaged, so I just stand here and grind away and collect the experience and repair all that armor. And other things, so that's pretty much all I ever do. I'm always grinding, I'm always collecting items, I'm farming, making the money, and on occasion I'm actually helping people. Last night I was being helpful. I don't know if that will continue today because I'm not a helpful kind of guy, but that's kind of a day or an afternoon in the life of me when I'm not making videos. I'm just actually playing Minecraft. I like playing the game. One of the only games I play. So that's it for this episode. I'll be doing my best to get a video out every single day at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time in the United States. And once again, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And if you'd like to give a like or a dislike on this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. And as always, later, Minecraft Freaks.